Hi, welcome back. This is Jim Mann with Homestyle Southern Cooking, and I'm bringing you another recipe today. Uh, a couple months ago, I brought you a flan recipe, a Mexican flan. I love flan. And then I brought you a Mayan chocolate flan. Um, flans, people use flan all over, the, all over the world, but different recipes. Today, I'm going to bring you an Italian flan, and um, it's really unusual, and the ingredients are unusual but the flavor is incredible. So first off, I'm gonna start off with the stove, like I usually do, and show you how I melt the sugar. So I'll meet you at the stove. Okay, I've got about three-fourths cups of sugar in just a saucepan, just a frying pan. And I've got my heat on medium-low. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stir this until it melts. Now, if you watch the other videos of the other flan, I've done the, the very same thing. You do this with every flan. This is what gives you a caramel topping. So it just takes a little bit of time. You have to just stir it until it starts melting. And then we'll actually pour it into our flan pan, okay? So let me stir this until it starts melting, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, when you get to this point, you'll say, oh, I've done something wrong. It's so lumpy, it's not melting. All I can tell you to do is keep on stirring, keep on stirring, it will melt. Okay, as you can see, it is, is really melted and it's got a real beautiful caramel color to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it right now and I'm gonna take it right here to my pan and I'll pour it right into my pan. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the caramel and I'm going to push it all the way around. And be careful with this pan because this pan is really hot. Because it's got that hot caramel around it. I'm going to try to get some around the sides here. Get up on the sides. All the way around here. Okay. And it will start setting up very, very shortly. This is hardening as we speak. So... Try to get the rest of some of this, some of this down here. But this pan is extremely, extremely hot. That's why I'm using these little the handles on here to, to move it around. Okay, as you can see, I've got my bottom pretty well covered. I'm just gonna let this set here now because this will harden up in about five minutes. It'll get really hard and I'll meet you back over at the counter. And now we will actually put our ingredients together. So I've got my blender here. I'm going to use one liter, one liter of milk. This is not sweetened condensed milk. This is not um, carnation milk. This is just plain milk. And I know this might look strange to a lot of you in the States, but this is how we get our milk here. It comes in boxes. Um, and it actually sets out until you want to use it, and you put it in the refrigerator, and it, cool, and it cools down. It lasts a long time that way. Okay, I've got my one liter of milk in there. To that, I've got eight eggs here I'm going to add. That's one... This is two. Then let me get them all in there and I'll show you the next ingredient. And number eight. Okay, so I've got my liter of milk in here and I've got my eight eggs. I've got my vanilla here. And I'm gonna put three teaspoons of vanilla in here. One. Two, three, three teaspoons of vanilla go into this. Okay, now it also calls for one cup of sugar, just white granulated sugar. So I get one cup of granulated sugar and I'll put that in there. 
can set that out of the way. And you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna I'm gonna blend these up this up a little bit. Okay, and now the last, last, but, uh, but not, not the least of the main ingredients, if I can get my top open here. I found these biscotti cookies in the deli section. Now, you can, don't, it doesn't have to be this brand or this flavor. I just happen to like these. It calls for 200 grams. Now, 200 grams is about seven ounces. So what I did, took my little scale and I measured it out until I got 200 grams. I'm gonna take the cookies and actually drop them down here in the egg and milk and this whole mixture. And it's gonna be full. Okay, I'll put my top back on. And I'm going to mix these. Okay, that's pretty well blended together. So I'm going to take the top off. I'm going to take the beater ton out of here. Oh my goodness, I wish you could smell that flavor. Oh. All right, and if you actually look in here, this pan, you can see where it started to crack right there because it's gotten hard and, it, and, it's, and this, once I pour this on top of this, if you listen, you can hear this actually crack. So we'll take the uh, bland mixture and we'll pour it in here. Okay, now we're essentially done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my top and we'll put this back on here, put my top on it. All right, I put the top on and like I told you before, if you do not have a flan pan, you can just use a regular pan, cover it with foil, okay? And then we're going to set it in water. I've got a tray over here that I've got Oh, it's not even halfway full of water, as you can see. If you don't have a tray like this, you can set this uh, this pan, a uh, smaller pan, into a larger saucepan. But you want to make sure that you cover it with foil if you don't have a flan pan. So I'm going to take this now and put this in my oven. My oven is set at 350 for about an hour and 20 minutes. And then I'll come back to you. Okay, our Italian flan has been in the oven in an hour and 20 minutes, and I just took it out, and it is hot. Wow, look at that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let that set out in the open for about an hour to it cools down some. Then I'll put my lid back on it and put it in my refrigerator for two or three hours. Then I'll come back and we'll try the finished product but it smells incredible. I, guess I waited until this morning to take my flan out of the refrigerator. I took it out, turned it upside down, and you can see how beautiful it is. And I cut a piece. It's really beautiful. And I had a piece to taste it. And it is absolutely delicious. It's not your typical flan, but you know it's a flan, but you taste the biscotti cookie, you take the, taste the caramel. This is a wonderful new recipe to add to your flan collection. So I hope you'll try this. It's a wonderful recipe and it didn't take that long to make. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful week and weekend ahead of you. Know that I'm thinking about you. This is Jim in Mexico sending you a big hug and saying God bless.